I'm going to bin, um, begin this uh, talk with a, a quick word of prayer. Um, I need a prayer. Um, now this subject is for about Israel, so uh, I'm going to open with a prayer and then um, and begin. Dear Gracious Father, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for all that, that I've learned in my, my work since uh, the Lord Jesus saved me, Father. I pray that I can share my experience, my uh, express my thanks to you and to all those that have that you've you've taught and that have taught me. I thank you for them. I thank you for the gospel. I thank you for the word and the record, the faithful witness, and all those lives that um, gave their hearts to you in faith and and left us this record of. of of your word, of your will, of your heart, of your mind. I pray I can share the things you've uh, shared with me, Father, and um, that they may uh, be a blessing to the Lord and Saviour and edifying to anyone that is needful. And I pray, Father, you help me um, give a honest account and, and report of the things you show me. And I pray for your Holy Spirit, Father, to guide me my tongue and my heart with the things I uh, need to say and would like to say uh, for, thy for thy word, for thy will and uh, and your will of your will in me Father I pray that uh, this be a blessing to you and I ask you Father in faith believing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen ok this is um, uh, it's not going to be a, a study so much, it's going to be uh, just sharing some experience uh, that I've encountered uh, and and for people like myself now I don't want to say that, uh, that there's pe other people that struggle like myself but I've struggled so um, I've had, had many difficulties, learning difficulties and you know it's been it, it's been difficult so um, it's been hard, I'd say. I'd like to share what what I learned the hard way to uh, with others to prevent them from, you know, learning the hard way through lack of knowledge, lack of understanding. That that, that, that you just can't all, you can't all get it in one go. It's something you learn and go, go through. So, if I can pass something on to uh, present prevent anybody else from the many pitfalls, the many snares, the many devices out there, the, the many lies, but uh, that's what I'm doing, uh, to share what um, the things I've learned. Now, I want to talk about um, Israel and uh, give some clarity to um, anti-Semitism, Zionism, who Israel are, what Israel is, what is Zionism, who are the Zionists, who are the Jews, <laughs> and who are the Zionists, who are the devils, who are the liars, and just to look at all, all the different components to really, uh, and then compare with the Lord's will of it, his perspective of Zion, his perspective of Israel, his respect perspective of his seed, the body, the seed of Israel, and his will for the nation of Israel. And to give some clarity and context so people don't get caught up in the Zionism and the anti-Semitism and the bias and the, all, all, all the devil's tricks that he will use against the Lord and ultimately to uh, hurt his people. Now I am going to read from a something the Lord brought to my heart recently that I'd marked in my scriptures and um, reading it, studying it this morning, it sort of hit some a bit a bit more relevance and edification. And uh, so I'm going to share those things that um, I, I'm, I've considered and considering and measuring and still studying, still learning and still growing. Uh, so um, I'm going to read Joel chapter 3. Joel chapter 3 is a, 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 
prophecy of all the nations at war in the last days, the, uh, the, the you know the battle of Armageddon and the, uh, the the return of the Lord and the establishment of His millennial reign. So it, it, the the prophecy is covering that period of time, and it, it is regarding solely His people, and that's His um, Israel, His seed. Uh, for behold, in those days, and I'm reading from Joel chapter three. Um, let's put it up. I don't know if you can see that. I'm reading from my other scriptures. Um, for behold, in the days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot they have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them, and I will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabaeans, so that a people far off, for the Lord hath spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your ploughshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about, to the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be awakened, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you, come get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain shall drop down new wine, and the hill shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord, and shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness, for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell for ever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood, that I have not cleansed, for the Lord dwelleth in Zion. So we have like the Lord's heart, and a glimpse of the Lord's heart and mind and his will for his people there. And that, that reveals quite a lot about the lies, really the lies in the world. Because if you listen to the world's voice, the Jews are the devil, the Jews are the synagogue of Satan, the Jews are this, the Jews are that. So I'm um, having myself experienced and being tossed by this, I am 
I, I am no holy moly Joe. I, you know, I am. My old nature is just as wicked as the most wicked, um, and I, you know, um, fearfully I've had to work out well what is the truth. You know, what is the truth? To you know, it's really buried, and if and if, if you don't have the knowledge and the understanding of who the Lord's people are what his nation is and his, his will for it. You can easily get caught up in that anti-Semitism, that bias, that prejudice, um, and get caught in the dichotomy of, um, you know, you know, racial, raci racialism, you know. Really, it's just bias from the truth, all these uh, phrases uh, to cause division. Um, now, Israel are a beloved people. There, the Lord, the Lord looks upon Israel as his own children. They're his own seed. He's got a will for them to to know him, to be saved. That's his hope. That's his heritage. That's his blessing. His children are his blessing, and that's the seed of Israel. Whether you like that or not, whether you love them or not, or whether you, whether they're wicked or not, that is the truth. It's the Lord's land. It's the Lord's uh, will, it's his land, and it's his people. Now his people might, you know, might be in trouble with, with, with their God. But that doesn't excuse the rest of the world to abuse these people. And these people have been abused. They've been abused since um, Christ times. They were abused during Christ, you know, the Romans abused them, the Babylonians abused them. This little nation was always bullied. This little nation was always the little minority of nations. And when that, that little nation stood for the truth, all the other nations hated it. And, and, and who is behind that is Satan, because he hates Israel. Because Israel are a testament, a legal, lawful witness of, of the true and living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the Lord Jesus Christ. And the enemy, Satan, and all his um, army, all his body, all his church uh, are in the world, all those in unbelief and those who orchestrate um, the machinations against Israel, i.e. Uh, the, the Roman Catholic Church, their doctrine, it's a doctrinal thing. Uh, Israel doesn't exist anymore, they're wicked, you know, they're... They're out of the will of the Lord. Well, that's completely false. And, and this is what you need to be careful of. If you're a young Christian, you get caught up in the anti-Zionism, anti-Semitism. You're going to get um, a smack with a, the rod of iron by the Lord if you're not careful. So um, if you do get a smack, um, rejoice because uh, the, the Lord loves you and he wants to teach you and correct you. Um, so I'm going to try and break it down in 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 simple terms as best to my simple understanding, and hopefully that that will reach anyone's understanding. So I'm gonna just gonna draw away from the camera, and then I'll bring it back. Um, right, I've done that. Uh, a false little triangle there. That's uh, let's say that's uh, political Zionism. That's uh, an imitation of Zionism to try and own what the true Zionism is. Now I'll break. I'll put this in a simple terms. Let's say it's a spirit. It's a mood. It's a. It's a um, a desire. A, 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 and it's born of a righteous desire and the devil always comes alongside the enemy it doesn't matter what it is in life whether it's a peaceful parade a just cause of a petition the enemy who you're petitioning against will join in that parade as one of you and they'll try and overturn it they'll try and own that parade they organise parades to make those parades fail, to point the finger and say, you know, to diminish their credibility. Now, it's the same with uh, Christians. You um, have the Catholic Church as the posing as the voice of all Christians. 
and then you, and, and with um with with Israel you have the uh, anti defamation league now that could be made up of many genuine intention um seed of Israel Jews who really are concerned about being persecuted but the power and force behind that could be deceptive and it could be using good people in the name of Zionism and it's it 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 sort of adjusts the bias it, it it heightens the focus too much and and the truth is lost and that they, they someone's trying to own the voice of speaking for what is Zionism and and, and their their idea of Zionism is not the idea of the humble Jews idea of Zionism so we've got a break we've got to look at it all all of this puddle and we've got to pull out all the different components that you can't see in the puddle in the fog in the in the soup so I'm going to try and just break it down uh, simply so we have um, let's say let's start with Israel what is Israel? Who is Israel? Well, Israel, uh, there's any anyone who has the blood. Now, um, I'm not going to get into whether you, it needs to be your mum or your dad or let's just say the Lord knows his seed, right? So, let's say this this represents the nation of, of Israel the land of Israel given to the Jews by God, the promised land, the promised, the lawful, that they got the deeds, they got the title deeds, Jeremiah's got the title deeds, um, it's all been revealed lawfully, it's their land, it's God's land given to them. This is the nation of, so you've got the people and they make up the nation and their home is Israel, which they were robbed of, as the scriptures testify. So we have Israel, the nation. Now, today Israel is full of different people. It's not all Jews in Israel. It is predominantly the seed of Israel going back to the land. And, and a lot of the people on those boats in the, in the 50, uh, 40s and 50s going and making their way back. A lot of these people were generally in their heart desiring just to return to their homeland. You know, they've been, you know, on the end of all this history and wherever their, their family lines sprung up, they um, desired to go back to uh, the land of their forefathers. Now, that's the heart and spirit of Zionism because I hope... So the true Zionism was King David's city and he, it was righteous and everyone was righteous in that city or, or trusting in right, the Lord's righteousness. And there, so there was no idolatry, there was no fornication, there was no, you know, any, anything like that would have been dealt with properly and, and lawfully. So it was a, a peaceful, righteous um the law in action, God's heart, mind and law through the king, through the David's uh, uh, kingdom, his, uh, his rule, his rule of law, which was God's rule of law. It was a righteous, it was a loving, it was fair, it was just. That is Zionism and that's the hope of all Jews, that's the hope of all Zionists, okay? Now the enemy will try and own that. And he will be the Zionist. He will be the voice of Zionism, right? This is where the this is where it blurs the lines, because you get this division, and you get this confusion, and you, and you're not going to see well. You're going to get swept up in this anti-Semitism because the voice of that Zionism, the one who owns the voice of Zion of Zionism, the purpose of that is to 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 make people enemies of. Jews, because it associates that political wicked Zionism, which is is Roman Catholicism, because it's the those people behind it, the Jesuits, the Rothschilds, and all the the and they 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 will fund the um, the the Anti Defamation League against the Jews. They they uh, doctor the um, they doctored all the uh, 
the truth about the, the Jews being persecuted and gassed by uh, Hitler. It, um, they, you know, they're, they're biased what the actual truth is and they hold out, oh, poor Jews, poor victim. And, the, and these are the people that aren't Jews and they get people that are Jews and raise them up in the same voice because these Jews get deceived and they're passionate. So they get tossed around by these wicked ideas that are planted these seeds and these machinations so among all the jews you you do have false jews you do have jews that aren't hereditary the seed of israel but i guarantee you the word guarantees that they really are the seed of israel in israel today and you've got to be so careful because the lord they might be out of fellowship with the Lord, but the Lord has not changed his heart and his will for his people. And this is why, now there's a lot you don't know about the seed of Israel, and that's why I read this scripture. So I'm going to, re I'm going to re go over the scripture I was referring to, which is Joel chapter 3. And it says what ha what befell these people. So this goes on in secret. You don't see this. You don't see the, all the the uh, machinations stirring up the Arab people to 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 claim the land as their own and name it Palestine. Well, if you do the history, it's a Roman Empire who who named named it Palestine to to stick it up the Jewish people because they revolted against the Roman Empire. So they name it Palestine and then they start funding all these Arab nations and throwing them against the, the seed of Israel. Then, they, then you get all Europe and all the other world people uh, boycott Israel, you know, they're wicked. So they shine all the spotlight on Israel because they want to turn the world against Israel. Why? Because they want to own it. They want to be the Zionists. They want to... This is the synagogue of Satan. This is the false Jews. And there are some wicked Jews, wicked seed of Israel, that are mixing with that week. But they're not, you know, that doesn't take away the Lord's heart, mind and will for Israel the nation and Israel the people. Now, if you want to go and do some history and you look at all the other nations surrounding Israel, you know, Israel was renamed, uh, they reclaimed their land in the 40s and, and they had their war and, and, they, and they defended every, every opposition that was thrown at them. The Lord helped them against all the odds defeat their enemy. Now, they may have played dirty. You know, there's no righteous nation on this earth. Not, not Israel. You know, they're in bed with the rest of the world. You know, they're yoked. Just like every other nation is compromised. We're all born into this compromised. We can't just step out of the compromise on our own because the whole world is running its course. So the only way to be free, free, free of that power is to repent and to believe in Jesus Christ. And then he will spiritually separate you from that ideology of the world and he would give you a new heart and you would have a new perspective you have his heart and will for his people so if you're a christian and you're getting caught up in this israel and zionism you need to you need to go back home and you need to i mean go back home to the lord to the rock and you need to open your heart and and look and divide this and, 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 and come to some sharp focus because it's a very dangerous ground to find yourself caught up in um, in uh, persecuting or anti-Semitism. Um, God's not a respecter of persons. He loves the Jews and the Gentiles. And you'll see this in every, every everything, in the black and the white thing, the black Hebrews, uh, you know. It, there's, the enemy's always trying to raise up a bias because it, it's not about it's not about race. We have races, we have diversity, yes, but we have um, when it comes to our salvation, it is um, there's no respect of persons. It's an evil playing field for you know for Jew and Gentile alike but the Jews are a special people they're the chosen people they're the promised seed and the Lord's not forgotten them and the Lord is going to use their wickedness their being out of the way now the question is are they deliberately 
out of the way are they just kicking back at a, a bigger evil now this is a scripture that I, I was reading Joel 3 this morning and I ended up flipping through Psalms and uh, I read a scripture that just jumped out on me uh, considering uh, Joel chapter 3 let them be ashamed which transgress without a cause Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. So anyone that waits on the Lord is not going to be ashamed because they're going to be washed in his righteousness, in his precious blood, in the Son, in, in the blood of his beloved Son, the Lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, second verse, the second half of uh, verse 3, Psalm 25, verse 3. <coughs> Let them be ashamed which transgress without a cause. Right, so there's, there's a division there, right? So what about those who are transgressing but they have a cause to transgress? Now, let's go back to Joel 3. Now, imagine if your soul, your children were sold for sex and drink. Imagine you were sold, you know, people are selling you behind your back before you're even born. Um, and selling you and, se and putting you on you know, in, on a private underworld where they're trafficking your children here, there and everywhere. They're experimenting on your children through the generations. They're treating you like dirt. This is the enemy. The enemy knows who the seed are, you see. And the enemy doesn't want the world to know who the enemy are and who the true seed are. Because if the world knew who the true seed were, they, they would know and come to faith in Jesus Christ because they wouldn't be able to deny the truth. But the enemy wants you against the truth so it can rob all the, all the goodies itself. It wants the land. The Catholics want the land. They want to destroy the real seed and propose as the false seed and deceive all the Jews in Israel. Israel probably aware of this more than anybody. They know their, they know their enemies. And they, and they have to live in a world where they have to surrounded by these people and if you look through the scriptures that you know that you would do the same without faith you would do the same as they done and probably worse because they that they are a gifted people with a heart a good conscience and a, and a righteous moral values throughout their history and then even Jews that convert to Judaism are going to be uh, experiencing the fruit of, of what that heritage carries with it, what those family lines, those blessings, right? That's why, you know, Israel are a rich people for doing absolutely nothing because they are favoured by the Lord. That they've turned their back on the Lord because they don't know him. So a lot of the generations of Israel are transgressing without a cause. They don't know any different and the Lord loves them. And the Lord wants more than anything for these people to be saved today. So you have to be so careful not to be on the side of the enemy. You need to be on the side of the, of the victor, the one who loves his people and loves the truth. So you've got all, all this... Um, anti-semitism now I'm gonna, I've done some investigation into the different Jewish sects so you've got uh, you've got the t let's put the uh, well let's say this is the right now let's put this on the right and this is the left so we have on the right right let's say the right and left of wrong so this is those who are not um, in fellowship with God, they're out of fellowship with God. So we're look, all, all below here is those out of fellowship with God. And we've got those on the right hand and those on the left hand. Those are right are transgressing with a cause. These on the left are transgressing deliberately. They're, they're doing wicked deliberately against these. And these don't know it. Because they're trans, they 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 haven't got knowledge. They don't know what's happened to them. They don't know the powers that work behind the for that have been working behind the forces before they were born, conspiring to destroy them, cut them up, divide them, ruin their lives, and 
you 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 go through the stories of all the the seed of Israel and and the, and the, the seed of Israel who don't realise that they're the seed of Israel because they're cut off, they're scattered all around all around the globe, and 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 the people in those nations may very well have knowledge of those seed because those family lines have been picking on that seed generationally and it goes on and it goes on just like it revealed in Joel um, and the Lord's going to turn that round and he's going to uh, and and he's going to allow the Jews to do exactly the same to the children the generations that done that to their children and and it doesn't matter whether the children didn't know it was going on that it, it it's wickedness and it's up and down like a seesaw and this poor little nation gets caught in the middle of it so when it kicks back it has to it kicks back with 10 times much strength and then and then they're gonna you know they make people angry and they're gonna kick back even more so um we, i'm gonna try and clarify the different groups so on the left we've got these um That's out of camera. Right, so we've got, I've put the left on, on the right of the page and the, the right on the left. So, like I say, anything below this line is those out of fellowship, those in the wrong. So we've got those who are transgressing, um, transgressing, knowing that they're transgressing and they're transgressing at, um, without a cause or with a cause you know they've got a reason to be transgressing these are transgressing deliberately you know they they're in, reveling in their transgression these are innocently transgression they don't know any different so we're going to look at the two groups in israel and you've got the talmudic jews and you've got the torah believing jews and now you need to study this out and look for these groups and then you've got to look at all the secular people in israel who don't believe anything they're just like the rest of the world just getting on with their life and enjoying their life and and living day to day like anyone else in sin or or the pattern of their life that they've grown accustomed to um, so we have different groups now uh, I, I'm not going I can't name them all because I, I forget what the names are but you you've got um, you've got you've got Orthodox Jews and then you've got different groups within the Orthodox Jews um, what it, um, oh I can't think of the name I will look it up and I will, I will put it on the screen later but you've got Jews who follow the Torah only, they believe in the Torah, they don't believe in political Zionism and then you've got you've got them on the left and the right <laughs> think like that um, who who perhaps are more involved with it but speak out against it but try and work amongst it and those you you've got Jews that completely stay separate for it and you've got Jews that don't believe that it's the Lord's gathered them back into the land and and they quite rightly point out that it's the the Zionist movement the the people who've tried to own the Zionist movement have brought the people back in the land but what you need to see is it's both it, it's the fulfilling of prof prophecy by the hand of wickedness and the spirit within the, the, the individual. It's a coming to a head of a situation and at the point of that situation you've got the thief trying to, to rob it and, and at the, at the head of the drive of that spirit is, is God. But you've got the anti-spirit trying to confuse and muddy the water and that's what we're looking at in Israel today, the muddying of the water, the lies so in Israel and in the world you have Jews that are faithful to the Torah only they don't and the old the old testament books like we have they don't believe they don't follow any um extra curricular doctrine like the tradition of the elders of um those who hold to the Talmud you know, and this, and and um, it 
it, it's a quite a mix of different divisions of of belief and then you've got the jews who've com who who've converted to, to who pose as jews who come amongst the jews as jews to corrupt the jews to cause these divisions to indoctrinate them and then you've got the natural corruption and wickedness within the the jews so you've got quite a mix going on there and i'm no expert i'm really just sharing the outline in in the you know sort of like blurrily trying to outline all the different groups but they can be studied and pigeonholed and you will see what i've seen i'm I just uh, not very good at conveying and remembering um all the different groups and all the different beliefs but you've got um you've got uh jews on on the right who have nothing to do with the political um anti-semitic zionism because that's what zion the driver of this uh zionists are and then you've got those um like machinations of jesuits trying to raise up trying to um influence like a jelly mold so um let me see get down on the floor so we have uh let's uh, Zionism and I put political because it is political it's not spiritual Zionism so forget um, we're not talking about the, the true spirit and the word of God as Zionism we're looking at the counterfeit Zionism that tries to own the real spirit of Zionism is where all the confusion gets so we've got the enemy and we know the enemy is the mother of harlots it's that all those people behind the Catholic Church now don't when you look at the Catholic Church you'll just see a church building with loads of religious men in it well you got to consider that's a business, it's a corporation, and the people who run that business may not necessarily walk around in a collar. You know, they work behind that business and they work with other people alongside them as a business. It's a power, it's an empire, it's a lawless rule of itself, it's a um, self justifying evil, and it yokes everybody into it, who, whatever it can use for its own ends it will use it and it uses it's it's got its fingers in everything so this political beast called that's been try to capture and own the jews and tries to be the mouthpiece of the jews and if you were to line up all the jewish people you, you and, and let them each speak one at a time you're going to get a completely different uh, view from what is uh, portrayed on the media you know, these people don't speak for the truth. They try and own the truth and they try and uh, bre um, start the wave of the truth, get the wave rolling of what the truth is. You've got this monster. Now, it will, from the top, from the conspir conspiratorial machinations, it will re release something through the avenues of its influence on the world, like um, the media or, uh, um, you know, some political movement, it starts and ferments and gets going, something, it, you know, like a craze it to try to start get going, or an opinion on doctrine it to start to get, get on the table to cause an effect. So you get these Zionists, and then, and then so they put the doctrine out there, oh, you know, it's, you know, we need to do this, we need to do that, and let's say it's um, anti-semitism we need to be the voice of anti-semitism so that they bias it and then it will raise up people in the same who who think and feel the similar way and they get raised up in it and it creates this political zionism and then people it recruits and then and then it will create on the other side a voice against that oh you anti-semitism you know oh look at them look at those bogeyman jews you know look, so it's the same thing and you get the um 
Anti-Defamation League. How dare anyone speak out against our Jews? Ra 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 ra. And a lot of Jews, you know, will quite rightly say, how dare you persecute us? And they might get caught up in this. And then they get caught up in this, you see. And then you get these people, oh, you know, you should... Anyone who speaks against the Jews should be shot. You know, anyone who, per, you know, anyone who boycotts the Jews should... You know, they're wicked, you know, they're, they're, they're the bullies. Look, you know, they're on the side of the United Nations and all this and all that and all Babylon and all that. So you get these two dichotomies of the same wicked hand, the left and the right, and they, um, they, they raise up these... Um, different camps you've got the anti-defamation league and then the world sees it and then it gets oh the, 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 it's a synagogue of satan the jews aren't real jews you know they're this and they're that and the other and it tries to cause this controversy why because satan wants the, the world to to uh persecute israel you see because uh, the whole world's in unbelief so the Lord's going to use that unbelief to, to allow these things to happen and you're going to get this anti-Semitism, you're going to get this hatred towards Israel and then they're going to be fermenting the problem so they can, they, they can f come up with their remedy, the one world, you know, order around, around Israel, you know, whatever their plans are. Even to... Um, imitate prophecy you know take part in prophecy by making things happen by making things happen that's how prophecies fulfilled by their wickedness because they don't believe they think oh let's try and imitate the lord's prophecy so they imitate the lord's prophecy and the lord goes well i told you that would happen because i said it would because you're wicked and then they fulfilled a prophecy so amongst the uh, wickedness you've got um uh, you know, the the real seed of Israel and the devil wants to destroy the real seed of Israel and so the Lord is going to protect Israel even though that they're out of fellowship, they're transgression and he's going to use all that wickedness and all that to, to gather around Israel like it says in the scripture I read and he's going to appeal to all the nations because he's going to bring them right down in the guts uh, of the bowels of history and they're gonna they're gonna try and deny God and they're not gonna be able to and God's gonna try and appeal to them and, and he's gonna put his finger on his people and says uh, y you know you, you're convicted because you've persecuted my people so you can't throw the stone at Israel and say that they're wicked I know they're wicked, the Lord will say. But you're, you're more wicked. Because you know that they're persecuted and they're, they're transgressing. And they don't know any different. But you know different and you're using them and persecuting them and taking advantage of the pits you've thrown them in and set up for them before they're born. And then you can point the finger at them. And then you can create up a bad bogeyman in their name. And then you can get the whole world stirred out against them. So that's the game going on in Israel. And you need to see that as a believer. Because you'll get, you may get swept up in the anti-Semitism. And it's wicked, it's wrong. We shouldn't be anti-anybody. Um, the Lord said to love your enemies. You know, it's no good in loving those you love. It's easy. It's easy to love your own. But you try and love someone who hates your guts and wants to kill you and has killed people you love and or has made your life a misery and destroyed your life. And the Lord says, no, forgive those people, love them. He didn't say mix with them and, and praise what they're doing. He said, Re you know, rebuke them. But it, he said to love them, to love all for his sake, for his name's sake. And that's what who Israel are, they're for his name's sake. And the Lord's going to judge the earth because of his name's sake, because of his mercy's sake, because of his nation's sake. And Jerusalem is the heart of his nation. The whole world is centred around the bosom of the earth, and that is it. that's the land of Israel, that's Jer Jerusalem. That's not Palestine. That's the land of Canaan that the Lord gave to the promised seed. 
it's his land and it's been sold and auctioned off people have coveted it and the pe and the real people have been denied it and killed and then the and then the false people in the name of the Jews pop up amongst it and try to corrupt the people whose land it is try to infiltrate their nation's government try to corrupt their doing so they can point the finger at them lead them astray so they can point the finger at them to get the whole world to to be against them because it wants to destroy them because the force of this world is Satan it wants to destroy the seed of Israel it wants to destroy the seed of Christ the the church, the believers in Christ, because they're the only ones who stand up for Israel. They're the only ones who know the truth of God's heart, mind and will for the people of Israel, the nation of Israel. And those people are scattered all over the world and, and they're always going to be persecuted because the enemy knows them and the enemy is the dominant force in this world. And the world's set up with pitfalls and, and, and devices to persecute and target these people to make sure they're never going to get up on the table and, and take back what they've been robbed of and the Lord's going to do that for them and that's what the Lord's doing at the moment he's, he's judging and he's bringing the whole world to judgement he's bringing Israel to judgement he's going he's gonna to put Israel through a fiery trial and um, it, it, it's going to get it's going to be worse than World War Two, and the, the, the millions of Jews that were murdered in the in the gas camps in in the, the you know the official uh, termination camps that have been factually substantiated and testified and and known and live through by these people, you know, you can't deny them what they went through and what their families went through. Now, regardless of a few exaggerations in numbers, you know, you can't start put, you can't start mucking around with the truth because um, it wasn't only Jews that were murdered, it was Christians, it was gypsies, it was anyone who was a dissenter against the enemy of Rome, the Roman Empire, the Roman Catholic Church, you know, they're behind they were behind Hitler, and if you really study history, Hitler, Hitler didn't have um, a full idea. He wasn't fully involved with the Jesuit machinations of killing the Jews under Hitler's ideology. You know, the, there is evidence, and there is um, presentations of that evidence to to show that Hitler, Adolf, um, Adolf Hitler actually. Um, stopped his um, officers from persecuting and killing Jews. Now he wasn't so concerned and uh, uh, and like um, you know helping out these people. I don't. I, I you know I think he would have um, gone along with it, but he wasn't directly involved in in the ga in the camps. He he was not fully compliant with that and, that and that shows in history so you've got this uh, evil force even in 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 hitler's um third reich you know ter you know using hitler and working machinations within that movement and that movement was fermented hitler was raised he was carefully raised the environment was set the ground was set for that 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 uh, body of people to raise out of the ashes. That was a Jesuit machination to ferment Germany to raise up this bogeyman to to persecute the Jews. But Hitler wasn't completely compliant, so it had to be done under his nose, and that was done by the, his Jesuit officers. The Jesuit influence that infiltrated the German hierarchy. And they would have um, gone about their own order, and their own order would have come from the the head of the Je uh, Jesuit order, because he's the head of the military arm. He's the head of the beast that persecutes Jews and Christians. This is the arm that started the Crusades. This is the arm that influences all the shadow American and British military intelligence to um, sponsor war in a. The Middle East to 
to set up one bogeyman against another one. You know, it's all directed from Satan and from the seat of Satan in, in Rome. You know, the synagogue of Satan, those behind the Catholic Church, those who partnership with that corporation and all those bodies that are, are you know, the Illuminati, the Masons, all the little fingers, all the little groups, the, you know, the trilateral commission, all their banking fraternities, all their commerce, all their media, all it's all up there in that little pocket of evil. And they're the people that per stir up all this Zionism and then point the finger so they can come up and mop it up. So you be careful if you're a, a young believer in Jesus Christ that you get swept up in this. Oh, there's a synagogue of Satan. Well, there is a synagogue of Satan and there are Jews that aren't Jews who pose amongst the Jews and they... they, they um, try to get a wave going, a movement going, and it causes a division, you see. Not all Jews are party to it. You know, the Jews are divided just like the the false Christian church is divided, all the different all the different religious nominations, just like there is in all you know, in 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 uh, Islam, you got the Shi, the Shiite, and the uh, you know the other extreme. The, these are uh, machinations to play one hand against the other. Satan's little game, because those divisions, you don't get them in the truth. You, it's clear, it, it, it edifying. It doesn't. There's no friction. It brings peace. It brings soberness and clarity, and righteous judgment. So. If you're a young believer, you need to make a right... You carefully look at these things carefully so you can prevent yourself from getting caught up and, you know, um, A, uh, being a discredit to the... Uh, being an ambassador for the Lord, you start persecuting and causing harm and supporting a wicked notion against his people which is against yourself, which is against your own heart because you are now one of those people but you're grafted in and that which is ungrafted is like one of your brothers and sisters that's uh, fallen away but they need to return but they can't return if you're persecuting them and, <laughs> and you're on the, you're the, you're the voice of hatred, you're the voice of um, screaming at all the Jews, tiring all the Jews in the same brush. You've got to be careful to not get caught up in those camps. You need to stay in the camp of, of Christ, and that is the camp of Zion, that is Israel. You're in the body of Israel, you're in the, you're in the heart and vine of Israel, and that's Jesus Christ. He's the seed, he's got all the gen genetics of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. He, he's a complete genetic seed just like Jacob like Abraham he was the first seed so he had all the he was the father of the whole nation so every every, every branch of DNA Abraham was the complete Isaac was the complete and Jacob was the complete and that is inherited to the, the children so in that seed you, you pop the complete pops up and and if you know the complete, you can recognise where the complete is in in the prophets. And the complete of the complete was the seed of Christ, the seed of Jacob, the seed, the seed of Israel. That's Jesus Christ. He's a chosen seed. He's a chosen genetics. He's the son of Jesse. He was the king of Israel. He inherited the throne of Israel. And he's the uh, the author of the seed. He's the father of those seed. But they're, they're astray and they're ungrafted. And they need to be grafted back into their vine. So um, I hope that's been um, helpful to somebody to um, defend themselves and not get caught up in the horrible ugliness of anti-Semitism, but to, to look at that, to look at those people with mercy and love and then to sift out, well, where's the enemy's hand? And then, you, then you're more able to witness, and you can reach, you can reach those people. You can reach any one of those people with that understanding. But if you haven't under that standing, you're just going to be treading on all those people's feet, and hurting people, and causing that 
that antagonism and that fear and that pain and that pain can, if you put that in a corner, that will bite you. You put a vulnerable animal in the corner and you threaten it, it will, it, it will be ten times its strength and it would it justly tear you to pieces and you'll have no defence against it. So, um, uh, uh, this, um, this would be a warning to anybody who's out of, um, out of line with what the Word of God says. And um, I'm going to close there in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.